Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, the place you go to get really, really good at Photoshop really, really fast. And I have a tutorial for you. Uh, this one is on oil painting in Photoshop. I'm not just going to use the oil paint filter, though I am going to use the oil paint filter, but I'm going to add two more things that might help embellish the look a little bit and you might, might like. Uh, first off, we are going to start with this image here. This is an image my wife took with her iPhone. And she loaned it to me for this because it's kind of ideal for this look. We're going to go under the filter menu under stylize and we're going to choose oil paint. And this brings up the floating oil paint panel here. I like to run the numbers up pretty high across the board here. And you can see, take a nice look here at uh, where we're at. You can see the leaves and things. And here's a before and after. So there's the actual photograph and there's the oil painting effect applied by the oil paint filter there you go now here's what we're going to do next we'll go ahead and click OK and we'll apply that look so if you want uh, more structure to the to the paint strokes that you see here like more depth here's what you can do let's go ahead and duplicate the layer I press command J on Mac or control J on Windows to instantly duplicate it then I'm going to go under the filter menu back under stylize and choose emboss all right, and emboss is going to make the whole thing kind of gray, but you can see there's what it looks like. All right, and then we're going to click OK, and it's going to turn the screen gray, right? But you can see it also raised the level, like it, it added some more depth here, but unfortunately it is gray. So we're going to do two things. Oh, good, my Mac, my Mac's battery is going to sleep. How about if we just close that? Yeah, there we go. All right, first off, I'm going to remove the color that it added. So it has a little bit of color in there. So I'm going to go Shift Command U on Mac, uh, Shift Control U on Windows, which removes the color. Now we're going to change the layer blend mode for this layer from normal over here to overlay. And what that does is it kind of gives you a little contrasty effect that uh, helps that. So take a look at the difference. It's just a little more intense. The strokes are more intense. You can see there pretty well. And I'm going to duplicate this layer again, and the strokes get even more intense. Now, if you think it's too intense and there's too much depth here, then you can switch this from overlay to soft light. And the two of those together, you can see, give you a nice look. Now, you see it also slightly shift a little bit. That's the embossing shifts it over a pixel or so, but it doesn't mess up your photo or anything. But if you're wondering why, it's not out of alignment or anything. That's part of the effect. All right, let's flatten this down here real quick. Just press Shift Command E to merge all those layers into one. Shift Control E on Windows. And lastly, we're going to use something that you may not even realize is there. It's because it's hidden under the filter gallery. Go to Filter Menu and choose Filter Gallery. When it comes up, you're going to go all the way to the bottom to Texture and click on Texturizer. Well, the Texturizer allows you to add a, like a canvas texture to your image, which is what I've done here. From the pop-up menu, I've chosen Canvas. I've increased the scaling quite a bit, and I've lowered the relief to 3. And you can see it gives you this kind of, um, kind of nice textury look. Here's before and there's after. It gives you that look like it was printed on canvas. Now, don't do this if you're actually going to print this on canvas. Don't add a canvas look on top of actual canvas. But if you're going to show this on the web or something and you want it to look like it has the canvas look, then it works quite nicely. And so there is your finished version with the oil paint effect. The effect kind of multiplied a bit by adding the emboss effect. And then at the very end, we sweep in with a canvas look to give us the final oil painted look that we have right there. Well, thanks everybody, and uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Scott. We'll see you.